Hey, this is Daryl, these ends up 11. So we're gonna go old school and just do a good old harvest uh, this afternoon. With these temperatures out here, uh, don't wanna spend too much time, but I will spend time to go ahead and go out there and do a harvest. So join me as I go harvest. Pretty one. All right, let me go ahead and pull the rest of these in. We'll show you after I fill up the box again. It's pretty cool. You don't find this too often, as you can tell. It's kind of grew together. Strange. Yeah, it's not a bad tomato haul. Now I got plenty more. So what you got here is mostly Amish paste. You got some. Uh, those are Cherokee purple. Whoop! Can't even stay on here. These are black creme, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I like the looks of that. I'm gonna have to go inside and really do some stuff, juice them, and figure out what to do with them. Some tomato paste, some tomato jam. Check off. Check both of those recipes. Or as only as simple living. All right. Next up, I got some of these Thai soldier bean, long bean. Some of them are starting to dry. Yep. So I'm going to pick those. Some are green as well. These are starting to dry a little bit. This time to go and harvest those. And I also got some Bertali. Let me see like these right here. They come from a plant over there. Let me go ahead and harvest these up. All right, next up I got some Mikel's or Michael's Palpy. Some of them are starting to turn, uh, but I got a bunch more over here. And over here I got the uh, Alabama black-eyed butter beans. Love these. Go ahead and harvest these as well. Yeah, they are starting to pile up. All this here is uh, Alabama black-eyed butter beans. These things are just prolific. Look at I mean, I still hadn't even touched half of them. Wow. All right, there's all the Thai long soldier beans. All of that, and the left half is the um, Black Out Alabama butter beans. That is your Mikkel's butter, um, Mikkel's cow peas, and some Berlotti beans. All right, got some more squash to do. There's another uh, zucchini rapicante. Another one right there. Go and harvest those two. I got some other um, butternut squash. Got to harvest. that one to be still all right so I got this butternut I want to go ahead and harvest it's so hard it'll break off yep. go ahead and get this little squash here All right, there's my squash. Here's my zucchini rapicante, a couple of them. Got some big old butternut squash. And a couple little ones. We got a lemon squash right here. A couple of cucumber. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of carrots, I think, too. This one's going to seed, so he needs to go. Let's hit Snow White. There we go. A couple of Amarillo Snow Whites. bring these in and cook them and last but not least I got a few peppers I need to go ahead you can kind of see some red over that way let's go ahead that way there's some red there too all right peppers aren't taking off like I would like them to because I've overshadowed them on accident looks like these are some long cayenne thin Got some and some jalapeno. Let me go ahead and uh, harvest these. Got a couple right here. Not a big mess, but enough to get me some good old seasoning. 
All right, I forgot the ochre. This is just about perfect size. This one is way too long. Probably gonna be real fibrous. All right, there's another one over here. This one's pretty big too. Come on off there, buddy. All right. Hey guys, if you like this content, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, like that video, feel free to share it. Now let's get back to the harvesting in the middle of the summer video. Tell you what, this is pretty cool. You've seen my penis back here, but I planted these uh, turmeric. It's just regular turmeric. I planted them, oh, shoot, March. They've only been up here over the last couple weeks. Um, the soil has to get, I guess, a certain uh, tropic um, temperature before they come up, and they sure are coming up here. Now in this pot I also planted, this is both black and white turmeric. As you can tell, man, this thing is launching, it's come up. Same kind of thing, it took a couple months. I didn't plant it right when the other one was, that was a normal kind of orange looking turmeric. But uh, this thing's blowing up. Here's another one with some that was in there. Some of the black and the white and it's blowing up. This is horseradish, believe it or not. So I took a part of a root, see, uh, rooted it in water. Took that part off, planted it, look at it now. Time for a little color, second round of calamond and oranges. Cool. All right, right here, I got some Alabama black eyed butter beans. That's what these white ones are. That is some Mikhail's cowpea, and this is some berlati. This is the Thai long soldier bean, dried pretty much. You got your um zucchini o propicante that's different butternuts got a lemon squash bunch of tomatoes mostly amish paste or amish paste you got cherokee purple you got some black cream um good mess there a couple of cucumbers of course got some carrots uh oh snow white and then some amarillo a couple of jalapenos and some um Cayenne will thin red. Hey guys, another hot day out here. Just want to go ahead and do a quick harvest. If you like this content, do me a favor, subscribe, like that video. I'm gonna put a link down for the previous video, which is all the seeds you can sow in June. In this super hot summer heat, it's time to go out there and sow, not just go inside and lay back in the recliner in the cold air conditioning. Although that's good as well. Hey, this is Louisiana Simple Living. We're here to help you achieve a bountiful harvest, delicious food, and healthy living. And as always, I will see you on the next video.